Welcome back. On this Thanksgiving week, many are planning smaller gatherings amid the pandemic. But as Leon Bibb shares, smaller doesn't mean your loved ones are forgotten. You've probably heard that old Thanksgiving and holiday song. Over the river and through the wood to grandmother's house we go. It began as a poem in 1844. The author imagined us traveling by a horse-drawn sleigh or wagon to family feasts. Even with automobiles and modern transportation, the theme of traveling to the grandparents or others for Thanksgiving Day continues. But this year's gathering will be different. A pandemic has pushed its painful path across grandma's pumpkin pie. There may be pie and turkey and fixins round the dinner table, but recommendations are to keep the party small. Thanksgiving is in the air still, but so too is a virus. But hold on, Thanksgiving is more than stuffing ourselves with, well, stuffing. It is the national holiday set aside to give thanks for not only what the table gives, but what life itself gives. For what am I thankful? For family, these loved ones, and a lot more, not in the picture. This was when the family gathered last year, thankful to be together. But I'm also thankful for these people in a long ago photograph. Family, too, in a long ago image around the table. Yes, I am thankful for the memories of those who smiled into the camera. Memories of mom, aunts, uncles, and there's dad. In the old photograph, dad is cradling me, comforting me in the family fold. That Thanksgiving when the shutter snapped, I was the youngest in the room. All but me are gone, but each one really still lives. They still live right here in my heart and in my mind because the way they raised me and the lessons they taught me still reside in me just as surely as the blood flows through my veins. Yes, at Thanksgiving, I am thankful for family and for friends. Thanksgiving Day is normally a time of togetherness, but this year is far different. The pandemic plagues us in so many ways, upending our lives and taking away lives of so many. Oh, I wish for an over the river and through the wood time of gatherings of family and friends. Not this year. Still, I am thankful for family and friends, including those who passed on for what they gave me while they were here. Consider that Norman Rockwell painting of the Thanksgiving dinner table. It was not my family, but it could have been mine or yours. This scene is about the idea of togetherness. Even apart today, we can be together in our hearts. Nothing can stop that feeling. Some things are eternal. Family, love, friendships, relationships. Those are blessings which make me eternally thankful. I hope you have such blessings too. So let me send you this special holiday card. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. You know, I could listen to uh, Leon Bibb read the phone book and, mm. and be soothed by that, but that is, oh my gosh, he just knows how to hit you every single time. Exactly. Fantastic work. Yeah, it gets right to the heartstrings. Yeah.